Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Islandopoly by Mastermind. This is a 2-6 to six player game that takes roughly about 45 minutes to 90 minutes depending on the number of players you have. And uh, you're going to be playing ages probably 13 and up in the game Islandopoly. It's going to be very similar to a classic game that you may have known, Monopoly. <laughs> This is basically Monopoly, um, but there's a few different caveats and interesting things. We'll talk about how it's set up, we'll then talk about how it's played briefly, and then we'll talk about what we think about the game Islandopoly, currently available on Indiegogo. You ready? Okay. To set up this game, um, you will give everyone $700. Everyone starts on the compass space, and then you'll shuffle the fate and fortune decks, and you'll set all of the properties aside. All of the houses and hotels, or I guess, what are they called in this one? <laughs> houses and hotels. <laughs> they go in that cute little pouch over there. <laughs> and the extra uh, sailboats and any of the extra money is going to be set aside for a player to use as the banker. And that's basically the setup of the game. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, hold, somebody gets the dice. Oh yeah, the islands go in the middle. Yep. <laughs> All right, so let's go into how to play Islandopoly. Well, um, it's Monopoly. There's a few <laughs> changes. Somebody starts as being the first player. I guess you can roll dice to see who goes first or the most recent person to go to Hawaii. Um, somebody plays as the banker. You're basically going to roll both dice, move around the board, collect properties. You're going to, and um, they're called other different things in this game specifically. But yeah, there's properties, and then you're going to have the harbors, and you're going to have uh, ports, which are basically like the trains and then the... The railroads and the utilities. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's pretty much like that. Instead of community chess and chance, you're going to have fate and fortune. Mm -hmm. Both decks are random, could give you good stuff. Uh, most likely <laughs> give you bad stuff. I mean, it's the same as Monopoly, right? And then, of course, you have the Alcatraz. 3D game design. Yeah, there's also the jail. jail. So uh, it's it's like reskinned, remodeled, formulaic version of Monopoly. If you've played Monopoly before, you know how this works. I'm not going to go into how Monopoly is played. Most everyone knows how that game works. But what I will say is there's a few differences. And one difference is what on the board? There is only two of each property. Yeah, so there's no triple properties. There are only two of each. But there is still the same idea as the ones more recently on the board being the cheaper ones, easier to make houses, but overall not going to cost you as much. And then the ones like Maldives and Santorini are going to be the more expensive properties. They're Boardwalk be and Park Place. Basically, yes. Uh, same rules apply as Basic Monopoly. There is a com there's a community chest and chance decks that are in these very basic forms. And then there's also a, what's it called, space that does nothing. Uh, Par free parking. It's free parking, but yeah. It's, oh, it's international waters. International waters, and it literally does nothing. Um, the rules explain most of that. <laughs> there are a few things in the rules they don't explain. They don't explain how you get out of jail. Um, yeah. They don't explain. Is it 50 bucks? <laughs> rolling three times until you get double. It doesn't say that. I'm, I'm sure those are just things that they're going to change. Um, but yeah, there are a few things in the rules that aren't explained. But because everything else was basically basic Monopoly, I just kind yeah. of played it like it stood. Uh, some of the values are different. Uh, it's going to be a quicker game and there's going to be... Mm, things are going to cost, I guess... I don't know if I say more or not, but you have I feel less. Like there's a bigger jump yes. with the property. It goes like, faster. Yeah. If you were to upgrade to like houses and the hotels, it's like a huge jump. Yeah. But anyway, it's it, it's basically a monopoly is what we're saying. But there are changes uh, to this game. They're just kind of light and they make the game faster. Okay, so let's talk about Islandopoly. It's currently on Indiegogo and you can purchase it if you would like. This is kind of a deluxified version of Monopoly that makes the game shorter and is a much higher quality. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. I love the board. Look at these cute islands. So let's talk about wish, the quality then, yeah. I wish you could like do something with them in the game, but they're just decoration. Yeah, you, they start inside the box. You take these guys and you place them on and then it kind of forms the islands for Islandopoly. It's also got a clear like resin or like 
I don't know what it's called. What's this called? The it's like an epoxy. Yeah, it's an epoxy finish that goes over it, so it feels like yeah, you're it looks sailing. Like, looks like the Bahamas. Yes, uh, all the ships are very nice as well. I mean, the quality of this game is top notch, and that's mainly what I'm going to go over with is the quality of the game and the different gameplay aspects to it. But uh, the, is, this is easily a, a A grade for quality. This is the coolest Monopoly game I have ever seen. Yeah, and I think that's pretty easy to state. Uh, even the way all the color looks it's very very natural coloration the the cool like uh, vibrant blues and oranges and greens you're gonna get in this game are really really nice uh, the cards are pretty cool too they're a plastic actually they got like a plastic finish to them so you're not gonna have to worry about bending them or anything like that they're just gonna go back in place you're not going to actually even create any folds or tears in the card, which is nice. Um, the money, well, usually people don't like paper money, and in this case, you don't actually have paper money. These are got a plastic finish to them as well, so they're even nicer. Now they are thin, um, you are gonna run into uh, quality issues, maybe over, I don't know, 100 playthroughs or something like that, but this is probably the, the nicest Monopoly money I've seen, yeah. uh, which, is, which is really great. Um, what else? It gives you a cool little wallet in the game. Yeah, I know. I didn't think. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of cool. It's like a little a Hawaii, Hawaii um, Aloha type type wallet. It, it's nice. It's cool. Um, it gives you the rules. It gives you the extra games they have. They have beautiful chess sets and all that. And you can see that all their pro products are high quality. And in fact, Brian got a chess set, which I'm very jealous about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he got it. And he reviewed that on our website, or he is going to review that on his, our website. And I love chess. And you can just see the quality and, and time put into those those sets. And this one is no different. This one's really, really nice. Even Everything feels nice when you touch it. Everything it's kind of got this nice tactile feel to it. Uh, coloration, et cetera, et cetera. The theme of the game. I wish, I wish, I wish that you actually started in the water areas and you moved along the water mm -hmm. and then you could connect into here, but it just doesn't really work very well. Yeah, I, I want to interact with the islands and the water in some way, but you just can't. It's just there for decoration. Yeah, everything in the middle of the board is decoration, other than yeah. I guess you can you can roll the dice, you know, <laughs> on, on, on the board. but. Or, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my community chants, et cetera, ex my community chants, my fate and fortune decks in the middle there, and I have <laughs> the dice there, both of the <laughs> and then I've got a six, and yeah, you move around the board, and it feels, it does feel good to move around this board and whatnot. I just think it'd be cool to do that. Uh, the way they even designed the game is super cool for the thematic element of it, placing the houses, has this kind of like robust roundness to it. It works really, really well. Thematically, it's cute. I just wish that I could do more with the high quality aspects to it. It feels like it's a lot of like let's make it really really nice but not a lot of form uh, meets function just mainly form and and that's okay if, I mean this could be one of those pieces that you actually put up on your wall if you wanted to like it's just a really pretty looking game or it could be one of those games that you have like on a little tiny coffee table in your house mm -hmm. I see people have yeah, chess boards and whatnot. Like such a nice decoration yep okay so let's talk about uh, gameplay <laughs> it's gonna be short but it's Monopoly. It's quicker Monopoly, which I appreciate. Yeah. Uh, it made me get trounced a lot quicker, so I didn't have to suffer too much. I'm not a huge fan of Monopoly in general, but what I can say is that because it was faster, it was sped along, there's not as many properties you have to worry about. The game's gonna have a clear and present winner after about three rounds around the board, which is, is nice. It's something that I'm going to be able to get on board with more than wanting to play. The original style Monopoly, um, which is one of those slogs to play. Uh, when you land on a property, it's gonna be expensive. You're gonna start losing your money quickly and the game's gonna have a clear and present winner really soon and that player is gonna usually probably skydive into a success. Or maybe there's like two people of the, the four or five people that are playing the game. Uh, but other than that, it's Monopoly. So it's one of those things where if you're a, if you're a modern style gamer, most likely you will not like Monopoly. It's one of those games that most modern gamers, you know, if you're playing like Zombicide and like Twilight Imperium and stuff, uh, this is going to have the same uh, positives and negatives of the basic version of Monopoly with some unique little bonuses that make the game um, easier for modern gamers to be jumping into. However, for those of you who like Monopoly, uh, and there's a lot, this is probably the most sold <laughs> type of game in the world, hands down, uh, then this is going to be a game that you might want to pick up, especially because it's kind of like a deluxified version that speeds the process up and looks really nice. 
Uh, this is one of those games that modern gamers would want to pick up for their grandparents and their parents to play with them. It's something that everybody knows how to play, but it kind of adds just a slight little variation to it, which makes things a little nicer uh, so that the games can go quicker. And it's something that's not too foreign to players, but still gives them enough of an idea of how it's played based on previous rules to the game. You can obviously add house rules, which is always my favorite with taxes and whatnot. They've, yeah, free parking. I they've, want the taxes. They've done away there. with the 10% stuff, so you don't have to do the math anymore. On this board here, it's just, I, I believe it's just 250, 250. Or, or some, it's just expensive. You just, two, ta two forms of taxes. Yeah. Marine fees, $200. Yeah. Marine insurance, $200. Mm -hmm. uh, which is great in one sense because it's gonna be cheaper, uh, cheaper, it's gonna be uh, easier, no math, but for you poor people, um, when you're landing on these spaces, it's gonna suck. <laughs> uh, it's gonna really suck. It can actually make you lose the game if you're not careful. Uh, but yeah, that, that's the gameplay version of it. Am I a fan of Monopoly? No, but is this a game I would prefer to play over other versions of Monopoly? Yes, and for those people who do like Monopoly, this is one I would suggest you taking a look at, especially because of how beautiful and thematic the game is. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about the gameplay. You trounced, trounced us, you won uh, hands down. What did you think? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is just like Monopoly, and it really depends on what you land on, especially in the beginning when you're buying the properties. If you happen to land on both properties you need to make a Monopoly, then you're probably going to win, especially if you're the first one to do that and you have money to buy the houses and hotels. Yep. But you, you like that. I mean, you, you enjoyed the, the translating. You were, you were. No, you just think that I do. I went, I'm very... I, I went on each of the trains, basically, the, the, the ports, whatever they're I called. I got, th I got three of them. It was the only properties I owned in the game. And she happened to land on the last one. And I was like, oh, well, maybe I she won't buy like, it. I was just like, I landed on a property. I'm going to buy it. Mm. And so once she like... bought it, it's destroyed my only source of income. And I was basically out because there's no other properties left on the game board. Uh, I have to try and, and trade with somebody. You could have asked me to trade it, and I would have gladly. Well, traded I figured you if you it. bought it, you knew it was what I wanted. No, I just saw a property. I bought it because I landed on it. The and many I joys it. of Monopoly. Regardless, though, if you like uh, versions like this, if you like Monopoly, if you want a version like this, something beautiful, something island flavored, then this is something I would strongly suggest you pick up. Currently on on Indiegogo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Islandopoly by Mastermind. If you're interested in picking up this game, like I said before, there's a link down below which takes you to Indiegogo. You can also go and check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, and you can go and see our blog posts, giveaways, reviews, and all that good stuff. Brian and the writers do a lot of stuff on there, and it's really appreciated if you do. You can also check out the link down below in the description, of course. You can check out the, what is it, click the like button, subscribe button, and then you have to hit the little bell now. So that way you can know when our videos are gonna be uh, released because the subscribe button isn't good enough. And pretty soon there'll be like a bell next to the bell or like a, a cowbell attached to the cowbell. Uh, but anyway, whatever buttons you can push so you can see more stuff that we create. And you can also check our live streams, which are on what days? Sundays. And? Wednesday. At 6.30 p.m. PST. Or what's what's the new time zone now? I don't know. I always thought it was the same thing. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Callie told me I was wrong about that though. But anyway, it's at 6:30 California time, so so <laughs> that, that that should help. Um, and and that's that's it. That's Islandopoly, and uh, it's really pretty. And she cheats. <laughs>